Welcome. Let's do some slow stitching and make a needle book, shall we? For my slow stitch needle case, I'm going to take some wadding, or you can use an old fleece or an old cardi or, or bed linen. See what you've got. This is will be nice and soft. And I'm going to get WYSIWYG and choose just some lovely fabrics that can go on go on here and I can slow stitch these down. I'm yeah just randomly picking them out seeing what seeing what I've got. Now if you don't want to slow stitch let me just show you this needle case. This one this is deli paper or grease proof paper and I what I did was I got a tiny little bit of glue stick and put them down on the deli paper. And then I went in when that was, the glue was completely dry and I stitched with the machine. So there's no right or wrong way to do your needle book. Oh, I need some thread. Um, Flo, you holding the thread for me. Thank you for looking after that for me. That's kind of you. Thank you. Oh. I think I'll choose this one. Lovely. I've got my peg bag here quite a while ago. I think I did a video on it when I was on holiday, I think. I... I, re I recovered it and I'm not hanging washing on the line at the moment. So I've got some, a variety of pegs here. I've got some, I like the wooden ones. I'm going to take, take this off. It's gorgeous. It's very multicolored and so it doesn't get tangled. I've got various, various bobbins. You can make them out of card and bits and pieces but it's quite nice with a peg so I'm just going to peg that up peg it there and then just wind it round otherwise it just gets in such tangle Oh yes, I've got made a bobbin out of a jigsaw piece as well. And then you can just clip the end in there as well. And that's that's handy. And that can be pinned to your needle case or whatever. Pop it on your tray or sometimes I peg it onto WYSIWYG. Each strand of embroidery floss, it's got six, made of six little strands. So I, I just put it in half. So my thread has three, three strands. And I'm simply going to slow stitch. Slow stitch means any stitch goes big, or small, just relaxing. Yeah, just, just relax and ah, find yourself slowing down and take a breath. Mm. No scrap left behind. The tiny little scraps I've made into little hearts to sew on maybe here and then the really tiny ones go in there for another project for another day I like to leave all the edges a raw as well I 
and this is a nice this is a nice portable project too it can be on a little tray take it take it where you want to and then we'll back it i wondered whether it would be nice to see if i've got some ruffles already made up you see the little fairy that lily made for me sit guarding the little ruffle tin isn't it gorgeous oh yes there's plenty oh i can take because if you've got things made up already you can just oh you can just add them gosh that's gorgeous wow lovely I had a wonderful time, slow stitching, very relaxing. And I thought the ruffles went on so well. What I noticed from the start, when I start with this one, I looked back and at the back, I just, I had this lovely square of sewing. And I thought, gosh, it's, it's almost quilting it so I as I go so I got quilters clips cut out some wonderful fabric here isn't it gorgeous did you send me this I, I lost the name on it I love it and thank you and I thought oh gosh it look, makes it look beautifully quilted so I pinned it on and then just went round all the little scraps from the bag picking them out quite randomly really and it's like quilt as you go isn't it that would be lovely on a bigger piece all wall edges so I enjoyed doing that. So what I'm left to do is I cut my felt. I bought I went back to the the shop and bought three squares of this it, a lovely colour. It's got a vintagey vibe to it. It's 30% wool, so it's 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 fairly soft. Yeah, and so I'm gonna fold I fold it in half. And then I just literally sew it in. A very, yeah, just checking it's in the middle. A very simple needle case. I pinned it into place just to keep it there. And I'm going to... Nothing fancy. So make sure you can see that. Yeah. Nothing fancy. Just leave a little end there. Put my finger over it, and I'm just going to do some stitches in and out. Just to secure this in. I can take the pin out now. fairly big stitch there in and out a few times that will hold that in and then I'll pop that just pop that up there and I can tie that off. It's a bit like the a bit like the three hole pamphlet stitch, but you yeah, you don't have to think as much maybe. You do what you feel comfortable doing. I do two knots 
Uh, I think I'll do three. <laughs> Just to keep it secure. And I'll just leave those like that. Oh, lovely. Pop that in there. And I have got this beautiful handmade lace. Isn't it gorgeous? From Pamela and Coco sent to me. Thank you. And I'm going to can tie that. Let's just cut that. It's, it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Pop that there. And how I attach that, it's like it's a pin with a two charms on. I think it said hand handmade that one. It's a little hand and a little charm. Or a little bead, use what you have, and I'm it it's a bulb pen, and I just that's it through the hole so I'm not wasting the lace or, or harming the lace. I've simply just pinned that lace on and I need to tie that up. Like that. Gosh, beautiful lace. And here, here they are at the side with their little charms on. There's a little mini from the waist as well. We don't want to. We don't want to waste any of this felt. We just want to use all the bits. I also made one with the little penny penny rug I made using all the tiny little bits and pieces. I'll link the video for that. But I haven't put pockets or anything because it's just lovely to see the front and the back. And since I made these, I did find an old penny. This is from 1924. <laughs> We don't use those anymore, but I used to get penny sweets. I used to pick them out and pop them in in a little paper bag. What was my favourite? I liked a penny lolly. And the, you had um, jelly snakes. And oh, yes, who remembers penny sweets or dollar sweets? Oh, so yeah, that's just simply sewn in there and then tied with the silk river ribbon that um, Tracy sent me. The ribbon is pinned on with a little bowl pin and some charms. I added a pin to this little leftover scraps one and I thought oh it's great for on the go you can just put your little needles and pins there you've got your thread and your and your fabric so ready to go little pair of scissors too I have enjoyed making them what are your ideas for a needle book they're they're very simple they're very simple make I uh, yeah let me know let me know if you're going to make one and are you going to do shapes or yeah I enjoyed I enjoyed that did you notice this was my mum's needle case I love it sometimes things can be very simple can't they I'm not quite sure who made it and when it was made but I think it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty vintage. That's where the thimble went in the top. That is a Thomas Shanter hat. The tale of Benjamin Bunny. They went away hand in hand and got upon the flat top of the wall at the bottom of the wood. From here, they looked down into Mr. McGregor's garden. Peter's coat and shoes were plainly to be seen upon the scarecrow 
topped with an old Tom O'Shanter hat of Mr McGregor's. Beatrix Potter wrote these and illustrated these little books at Hilltop Farm in Yorkshire and this may have come from Yorkshire and been made in Yorkshire because that's where my mum spent her summers on a farm in Yorkshire. Ice crispy cake, anyone? Would you like one, Flo? There we are. Let's give you a little cake. Mm. Have you made a needle book too, Flo? Can I have a look? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, you've used some fabric from the yeah, from WYSIWYG. You've used the machine. You're, you've used your own little machine as well. Oh, and some of the scrap. Yeah, I love it. And that's just the right size for you. Have you noticed felt can be so lovely, can't it? This was from Becky W. A little acorn, I love it. Shall we light a candle? a little time for us to slow down and take a breath. Mm. Maybe think of people that are on their hearts. Mm. Thank you, I do appreciate, I do appreciate you, the time you spend and, oh, the chats we have and, oh, I love it. Mm. Well, take care, everyone. Go gently. Jigsaw, it's a bookshop. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Got the door where you come in. There's a till. Book club meetings every Wednesday. It's got, I think it's got dollars there. Mm. Oh, a little cat. I think he's going to be on the stairs. Oh. And he even has the books, Pinocchio, the Snow Queen. It's wonderful. Where's that? Fables. Is that Aesop's Fables? Mm. <laughs> Is it Freddy? Oh, just came out in the garden and noticed this dear little iris. How beautiful and crocus. Ah, oh, wonderful.